Welcome to another Blender Geometry Notes tutorial. In this video I will show you how to create such a relief hologram of any object, in this case a human face. Let's get started. At first I need a surface to project something on, so I delete the cube and create a plane which you just rotate and subdivide. Then I apply a subdivision surface modifier to smooth it and stretch it a bit. Now I got an egg-shaped surface. Open the Geometry Nodes editor and create a new group to start with the real thing. We need a Distribute Points on Faces node to scatter points on there. Change it to Poisson Disk and give it a small minimal distance. Then shoot up the density maximum to get a lot of points. Then you need an Instances on Points node where you connect a mesh circle to it. Fill it with Angon and decrease the vertices and radius. You have to rotate them by 90 degrees that they look in the right direction. If the radius slider is too sensitive, you can use a math multiply node with one value on 0.0001. Then you can use the other slider to control the radius better. So now we need to use a realize instances node that we get real geometry for the next step. Add an extrude mesh node. But we don't want to extrude everything the same. Now the object you want to use comes into play. I will use this human head. I want to extrude every circle until it hits the object's surface. By that it will display the head's volume with many small cylinders. So now we will use a raycast node for that. Connect the is hit plug to the selection of the extrude mesh node and connect the hit distance to the offset scale. Now you can just drag the head object from the list inside the geometry nodes window to get its information in there. Switch it to relative and connect the geometry to the target geometry. Now you need a normal node and connect that to the ray direction. The basic work is done here. The circles get extruded until they hit the face. So you can see the face displayed as many bars. You can move it around and the raycast gets updated live. At the end you have to set the material with a node and you can use a set shade smooth node when it looks too edgy. Optionally you can also animate the circles to liven up the picture. For that you slide a rotate instances node before the realize instances. Then you need a random value node on vector with a little span on the x-axis from minus 0.04 to plus 0.04. Every other vector has to be on zero. Then connect it to the pivot point. Now when you change the z value, the cycles are rotating around a bit. You can animate it with the timeline by typing in hashtag frame divided by 30. Then 30 frames will result in one value increase in the slider. Now everything is moving a bit around automatically when the animation is running. The second optional thing is to improve the tips of the cylinders. You could do that by sliding in another extrude mesh after the current one. Then connect the top to the selection. Then after that slide in a scale elements node and connect the top to the selection. Then make the extrude offset scale pretty small and the scale elements about 0.5. By this you extrude the top face a bit longer and scale it a bit down. Then the tip has a bit more geometry and looks better. You can see the effect when you select both and press M for mute, then it will be disabled. Now we can look at it in the render preview. Now it is basically finished. You can play around with the values and animate the face and it will look pretty cool. If you found this helpful, feel free to subscribe to see more tutorials like this. Thank you for watching and see you soon.